guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install clip-in extensions. I have gotten a few requests to do this video for you guys, so here I am. And the shout out to Elichi Hair Extensions for sending me some clip-ins to try out for you guys. A little disclaimer before we begin the rest of the video, if you guys hear me sniffling, touching my nose, touching my eyes, I am suffering from Florida allergies at the moment, so just bear with me. I did take a Claritin, so hopefully I can clear up a little bit. So just a little heads up, um, nothing's wrong with me. I just, I'm suffering from allergies. If you're from Florida, you know, we suffer from these allergies. It's so annoying. And the pollen right now is definitely super high and it's definitely allergy season. So just a little disclaimer before we start this video. So like I was saying, Ely Chi Hair Extension was kind enough to send me some clip-in extensions to try out for you guys. I'm really excited because this color looks spot on to my hair color, which I'm pretty excited. And I did get this in a 20 inch length because my hair right now is about at exactly 20 inches. I'm using these extensions as a filler like um, to add volume and just to add more thickness to my hair because my hair is long now, thank God. So I did just get 20 inch just to add more volume into my hair. So these are what the extensions look like. I did open them a little bit, so that's why they look kind of messy right now. And you do get it in this really cute pink packaging here, super cute. So in today's video, I will be demonstrating how to install clip-in extensions and I will be styling them at the very end. I'll probably just curl them to keep it pretty simple. I'll tell you guys a little bit more about Elichi hair extensions and the type of colors they have. I also have a discount code with them, which I will link down below in case you guys are interested so you guys can save some money off your hair extensions. But before we jump right into this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you guys can see more videos like this in the future. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Ash Luna, so you guys can see a little bit more behind the scenes, a little bit more of my life. I am a professional hairstylist, so if you guys do like hair content or makeup, anything like that, definitely give me a follow on Instagram because I do post a lot more hair pictures, hair videos, and just my life in general. So if you guys are interested to see how I install clip and extensions, then just continue watching. So this is what the packaging looks like, and like I said, it is a little messy because I did open it already, and I kind of shoved it back in here. This is what it looks like. Again, I did get 20 inch, so we're just going to open it up, and the color I got is number 12 P613, which I will link all the information down below. So again, this is what the color looks like. I'm really excited because it looks like it's going to be a perfect match for my hair color. So it does come with quite a bit of pieces. You have your two single-sided pieces. You also have a, what is this? You get one double-sided weft which is two clips here. You also get a three medium clip weft as well. You get two pieces, and then you get two of the larger weft pieces here, which there's only three clips on here. So it's pretty average how much hair you receive in the package, but if you do have insanely thick hair, I would recommend getting two packages just because this hair is plenty for my amount of hair because my hair is about fine to medium hair, but if you have thick, thick hair, I would definitely recommend grabbing two packages. Or if they have a different option on the grams, definitely go up on the grams. But this is perfect for my hair type. If you have fine to medium hair, one package would be good for you. So to install the clip-in extensions, it is pretty easy. So I will show you guys how I install them, but also some tips and tricks on how to make your clip-ins adhere better and just make them last a little longer and blend with your hair. So the very first step I'm gonna do to install the clip-in extensions is I'm gonna be parting my hair. So I do like to apply the clip-in extensions from the back first, just so I know how everything is looking from the back. So as you can see, I am sectioning the front from the back, and then I will be beginning on the bottom nape of my hairline. So I'm gonna be taking a smaller section, and the sectioning does not have to be perfect, but just make sure the line is nice and straight. There's no tangles, there's no zigzag line going on. So now I'm just going to clip the remaining hair on the top. So I know I mentioned earlier that there was only one small two-piece extension here, but I actually found another one on the floor. It was right here. I think it fell when it came out of the package. So just to correct myself, there is two small hair wefts in the package as well. So now that we have our hair section and up and out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and install the first weft clip-in. So a very first tip that I like to do when applying clip-in extensions is applying some hairspray, very strong hairspray, right at the root. And then after you apply the hairspray, you wanna go in and tease the root area. Now this is gonna help the clip-in extension adhere better to your hair, especially if you have finer hair, softer hair, or just hair that doesn't have that much texture and hold to it. 
this will help so much and it's definitely a huge tip that I recommend doing when applying clip-in extensions. So I'm gonna show you guys me applying hairspray and me teasing the root. the hairspray and teased the root area I will be applying the clipping extension on that area that we teased now please pay attention on how I insert the clip-ins so I will be installing the clipping extensions in a circular motion and then I will be snapping the clip-in installing the extension that way is gonna help adhere better to your hair and it's gonna help prevent it from sliding throughout the day So as you guys saw, it was pretty easy. You just kind of do a circular motion and then snap the clip-in into your hair. And I did use one of the medium three-piece wefts on that first section. So now moving on to the next section. The next two sections, I will be using the larger wefts just because we're gonna be going a little bit more further up in our head and the way our head shape is, once you move further up, your head is gonna be a little bit more wider. So that's why you wanna apply the larger wefts on those two sections. And then we're going to finish off the very top of the back of my hair with the medium three-piece weft. So now I'm just going to take my hair down and do another section. I don't like to do them on top of each other, so give each section some space. Again, the parting does not have to be perfect, but just make sure it's a clean, straight line and there's no tangles. Make sure you're brushing your hair thoroughly through each section. I'm going to go ahead and do the same exact thing we did to the first section. I'm going to be applying some hairspray on the root area and then teasing it and then applying the weft. As you guys can see, it holds really nice on my scalp. It's not slipping off, it's not sliding down. So doing those tips will help a lot applying clipping extensions. So now moving on to the next section, I'm gonna be doing another large weft in the area and then we're gonna be finishing off with the smaller medium weft. And if you have really fine hair, you don't necessarily need to put all of these wefts into your hair. But since I am doing a little demo on how to install clip-in extensions, I will be applying all of the wefts into my hair. Now taking the last big weft we have in the package, I'm just going to be installing it. Again, I'm going to be applying hairspray and teasing the root. done applying all the webs but as you guys can see we're already getting tons of volume in this hair which I love and the color matches my hair perfectly so I'm super excited about that so I'm gonna be installing the last weft and I'm just gonna be applying this right up here in my crown area all the pieces installed in the back we're gonna go ahead and finish up the front area here so I'm just gonna take that front section and keep all of the extensions in the back just to keep everything nice and clean all right so as you guys can see this is what the front looks like with no extensions so we're gonna be taking a section we are gonna be applying the two clip weft here and I do like to extend the section a little bit 
to the back area here. As you guys can see, we only have two of the smaller two-piece clips here, and then we have the single wefts here. So we're gonna be applying the two clip here, the two clip here, and then applying the one weft up on the top. So exactly what we did in the back, we're gonna be doing in the front, apply a little bit of hairspray, and then just tease a little bit up on the root area. Now taking that weft of hair, and we're just gonna be installing it using circular motions, and then snapping the clip into my hair just like that and then we're just going to release this section now you can already tell that this side has a lot more hair and volume than on this side and you also can't even see the weft up here at all which is really nice next i'm going to go right above that parting we did so just doing the same thing we did we're going to apply a little bit of hairspray and then just tease that little area there. So to finish off this side of my hair, I'm gonna be applying the last one piece weft here. And again, we're just gonna be using a circular motion and just snapping that right into my hair. Now, a tip is if you see that your hair is showing a little bit of weft up here, and obviously you want that to be invisible, you don't want that showing, you don't want people to know that you have extensions. So a little tip is to take that same parting there and you're just gonna be applying some hairspray right up on the root, and then you're just gonna be taking your TZ brush and just gently back comb that section there. And what that's gonna do is gonna create some more volume up here on the root, and you won't be able to tell that there's any wefts up there at all. So that's just a little tip to use if you do see that your hair is showing a little bit of weft. And you can also do this trick right on the back. So if you do have more finer hair and you're seeing that you can see the weft a little bit easier, definitely back comb that up section there and just make sure everything is all blended and seamless so nobody will even tell that you have extensions. So as you guys can see the difference just in the front alone, you can see this side has a lot more volume and a little bit more length than this side. So I'm just gonna quickly finish off this side and then we'll be able to see the final result. So this is what the final result looks like. As you guys can see, my hair is a lot more fuller, more volume, and just a little bit more length. I am obsessed with these clip-ins, and I am obsessed with this color. This color matches my hair to the T, which I really appreciate. Overall, I really do like these extensions a lot, and I love, love, love the clips on these clip-ins because the clips are very strong and sturdy, so doing all these tips and tricks and applying the wefts into my hair, I feel like my extensions are not gonna move at all. Like. None of them feel like they're slipping out and obviously you can't even tell because usually when people put clip-ins in you can tell that they have clip-ins in so the fact that you can't even see them at all I really love. So obviously the extensions look really good straight which I could probably get away with just keeping them straight but I do love to add a little bit of a wave into my hair just because I love waves on my hair personally but you can totally keep it straight if you want. I could definitely get away with it being straight but like I said I do want to add a little bit of wave. So yeah, I'm gonna be quickly waving my hair. If you guys want a full in-depth video on how I curl my hair, I will link a video down below because I do have a dedicated video to curling your hair, especially with hair extensions. So I will link that video down below. So I'm just gonna curl my hair really quickly and I'll be right back. So this is what my hair looks like, all finished, curled and everything. I am totally obsessed. I know it might not seem different to some of you guys, but to me it's a huge difference because I have a lot more thickness and a lot more fullness and volume into my hair. I did install all of the pieces in the package into my hair, so that way you guys see an exact example of what it looks like on my hair. I did want to mention if you have short, thick hair and you do want hair this long of a length, I would definitely recommend bringing your hair extensions to your hair stylist. That way the hair stylist can cut and blend them into your hair, especially if you have short hair because you definitely want them to blend with your hair. So I did want to mention that in case anybody was interested. If you do have short hair and you want really, really long hair extensions, 
definitely bring them into your hairstylist. So that way if you are out in public, you don't want people to notice if you have extensions in. You definitely want them to be nice and seamless and blended. Now that I showed you guys a demo on how to install clip-in extensions, I do want to talk a little quickly about Elichi hair extensions, especially their clip-ins because I did do a halo video for them. So if you guys are interested to see the halo portion, I will link it down below in case you guys are interested. So I do quickly want to talk about Ely Chi's hair extensions, especially the clip-ins. They have tons of different colors you can choose from. They do have all over colors like your blacks, your browns, your blondes, and they also have highlighter versions, which is the one I have installed at the moment. It is a highlighted clip-in extension color, which I will link the color down below in case you guys are interested. But they also do have a balayage color as well, which is really nice because it is rooted on the top and then you have more of like the highlighted colors on the bottom. So if you do have a balayage or ombre into your hair, you definitely have some options on colors. Overall, I really do love these clip-in extensions and I love that Elichi does have tons of different options when it comes to hair extensions. You do have your solid colors, you have your highlighted colors, and they do have ombre and balayage options as well, which I really love because it just makes buying hair extensions a lot more easier, a lot less frustrating, and just a little bit easier for you guys to pick the right color out for you. Like I said earlier, I do have a coupon code for Ely Chi hair extensions, which I will link on the screen. And if you guys are interested to see the Halo version of this video, I will link it down below because I do love Halos. They're a lot more easier to apply into your hair, but I do love clip-ins because you do get a lot more hair into your hairstyle. So that wraps up on how to install clip-in extensions using Ely Chi hair extensions. Thank you so much to Ely Chi for sending me some hair to try out for you guys. Definitely use my code to save some money off your order. If if you guys enjoyed this video definitely give me a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe down below to help your girl out and i'll see you guys in my next video bye